and you can certainly ask you know so what you know so 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 what we keep on developing well leadership development models most of the leadership development models i know has as its basis the adult um, development theory of keegan okay um so and in those um you know in those um in those frameworks, there's a lot of data as well. So if we look at um, if we look at how this looks in the general population, okay. So 13% of the adult population is sitting at at um, before socialized mind. So in other words, in self-sovereign mind, the vast majority of the adult population is sitting um, at socialized mind. So external locus of control, I act in accordance with the rules and beliefs of my peer group, religion, um, country, laws, etc. Okay. Um, Self-authored mind is about 34% of the population. So um, very often this is where we start finding the leaders. And only 7% of the population is sits at self-transforming or higher. So remember, this is, is grounded theory research. So they didn't come with a theory and, you know, and try to prove it. They um, gather data and they allowed the theory to emerge from this. So still, you know, so what? Well, here's another thing to look at. Um, because there is, is a lot of data, and I'll, I'll show you two examples. So this comes from um, Keegan and, and Lisa Leahy themselves. We look at the relationship between leadership effectiveness and business effectiveness. If we are below socialized mind, okay, we tend to be ineffective. In socialized mind, we kind of not ineffective, but it's kind of, we don't really have that much of an impact. When we get into the mid zone between socialized and self authored, that's when we start getting into, um, you know, into effective leader, leader, leadership. Okay. And know that we spend quite a bit of our, bit of our lives, you know, in between those stages because we can, one aspect of us can progress to the next stage while some aspects of us are still developing. Okay. Self authored, self authored, we are effective. We really only become highly effective when we go beyond self-authored. So right now, there's 7% of the population that sits in this highly effective. Okay, I'll show you another example. So this comes from, from the leadership circle. You can think about, um, you can think about socialized at the bottom, okay? And um, self-authoring or higher at the top. So this is data, it's probably about, I think it's, they say it's about 7,000 um, data points. Um, this is what the profile looks like of the top 10 performing organizations in their database, or the top, sorry, I lie, the top 100 performing organizations in their database. So strongly self, um, you know, self-authoring and higher. And at the same time, this is what the leaders of the bottom performing organizations look like. So strong socialized mind and lower, okay? So there's a very, very strong correlation between um, the development, um, the leadership development of a leader and the effectiveness of the organization. You know, it's, it's proven in the data. It's not just, well, it's great to be a, you know, a, a great person. There's more to it than that. Yeah. <laughs>